In this deep dive video, we're going to take a look at how we can use Revoice Pro 5 to edit sibilance, consonants, breaths, and levels. Let's dive in. If we take a look at this pitch block with our main selector tool chosen, if we hover our cursor over these pitch blocks, notice that we have an indication of the pitch and also it shows where we are in terms of sitting from zero to 100%, how close we are with the tuning. Also notice though that we have these other areas where we don't have a solid blue pitch trace, but more like an aqua blue glow. And if we are to hover our mouse across this and select this, notice that this says unpitched. That's because Revoice Pro 5 is basically separating anything that's an unpitched voicing from an actual sung pitch or a pitch block. Now, the other thing to note is that if I was to make any changes and I actually adjust the pitch of one of these pitch blocks, that everything here, as long as this is unvoiced, even though this might visually change in terms of if we see this either move up or down, that this isn't being affected at all. This is remaining as transparent and natural as possible. So these don't actually get moved. This is a good thing. In addition to being able to just have them filtered out and no pitch correction being applied, another thing that's really useful is if you hover your cursor at the bottom of any one of these, if we click, hold and drag, notice we have a level change. I can adjust to make a static offset and notice that this now updated the waveform. This is extremely useful. This is something that a lot of people will do manually after they've polished off their vocal tuning and their timing. They will then render it and then they will go through and they will tweak all these little areas. And this can often be something that separates an amazing professional polished sounding vocal from something that might be just decent or okay. Lots of these areas where you have the potential to have things sound harsh, maybe CHs or SHs or Ts or breaths or anything like that, they have the potential to be very jagged, especially when we talk about modern vocals and lots of different levels of compression and saturation that are getting applied to things. Let's take a listen to how we can pass through with the main selector tool and make adjustments to these levels. I'm tongue-tied, cause I'm... All these areas where we see anything, again, click, hold, and drag, a really good place to start, somewhere around minus two to minus three dB. Let's keep going. Busy trying to reach. Okay, this one right over here. So easy to just click, hold, and drag, and then we're seeing this happen and update in real time. A word of advice though, be careful not to overdo this because it's very easy for us to overdo this. Let's momentarily solo this, and I'm going to just take this and click, hold, and drag. Let's bring it down to minus 12. Busy China. We can totally degrade and ruin a vocal performance, right? We can actually take this away completely and we end up giving somebody a lisp. That will never be the intent of what you would want to do. We need to do this carefully. Now, in addition to taking a look at these and just adjusting these, we also have the ability to do this for breaths. Let's let this vocal play and have a listen. Busy trying to reach, oh my, but I got Okay, so we have these breaths over here. This one, I can click, hold, and drag, and I can bring this down. In addition, I could select this and click, hold, and drag, bring this down as well. Gotta talk to you. Okay, this one is particularly edgy. If we select this, again, I'd say we could bring this one down even more, maybe something like four. Let's listen to these now. We will click the comma key to bypass. Gotta talk to you. Listen to the edge of those two T's. Gotta talk to you. Now. Gotta talk to you. Okay, I might have brought this one down a little bit too far. Again, click, hold, and drag. Just increase this a little bit. Gotta talk to you. And this breath over here, we can do the same. Just a quick level change. Let's move on. Maybe we could run and hide. Get a little drunk on why so. Okay, a couple things I want to take care of here. So this one, I hear it. Get a little drunk. I hear this edge. Even though it's a D, it's coming across almost like a T. We'll pull this down a little bit. Get a little drunk on why so. I'm going to bring this one down. Now, in addition to basically searching for breaths, T's, SH's, things like that, CH's, we also have the potential to just have a level change. This could be as simple as having been comped from different performances, one where the vocalist was here, another one where the vocalist was here, and then you have level discrepancies and we need to take care of these. This is something that we can do as well. We can just simply click, hold, and drag this phrase over here and then hover over to the middle, level change, maybe somewhere around 2.5. Even just visually, I can see if I go down to three, now these look a little bit more in line. Get a little drunk, oh, so. And also, I still hear this T over here. 
Also, I'm going to just navigate to the audio tab momentarily, and I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and Command, and I'm going to just increase this a little bit. I want to decrease the size, and we can do this either with the scroll bar like this, or we can do it by mouse dragging, Option, Command, and I just want to adjust this a little bit. Let's go back to our pitch, and let's zoom in, and let's have a listen to this again. Get a little drunk on YSO. I find it a little bit easier sometimes when the waveforms aren't overwhelmingly big, but you need them big enough that you can see the changes that are being made. Oh, I so I have the guts to speak. Here's another area where this is particularly bad. We have guts, t so we have an S and then we have a T back to back. Guts to speak. So that sounds really harsh. Again, click, hold, and drag. We'll bring this down. That could even come down maybe like five. I have the guts to speak. To if you're listening in isolation, you might also want to be referencing the music on a regular basis because if we're listening to something completely in isolation, maybe we're hearing S's and T's and CH's and we're like, oh, it's much too harsh. Bring it down, bring it down, bring it down. But then in context of the whole track, it might not actually be that bad. So you always need to make sure that we're checking in context. Get a little drunk on my I have the guts to speak. Okay, so that sounds pretty good. This one is actually a little bit too loud still. I'll click, hold, and drag, and we'll bring this down a bit more. Drunk on my I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. Okay, one more thing I want to take a look at. This is a really useful view, and I think if you're doing a tuning pass and you want to take care of everything together, having the ability to select a note, and it doesn't just have to be taking S's or TH's or breaths and bringing them down. This could be taking something that's a little buried. If you have one note that kind of falls off and you could be increasing that level just so that it pops out a little bit. But it is very easy to do this in context, but there's actually a completely separate view, which gives you a completely different way to visualize this. If we click the L key, we are now in the level view. And as you can see, it's similar. So we can see the purple in the blocks and the purple represents the actual pitch. And then we have a similar blue glow that we have for this unpitched voicings. And then we also have this aqua blue line. Now here we actually have a different way we can do this. We can click, hold and drag and just drag it down. And notice that we're dragging up and down and we see a level meter that's updated in real time. So we're starting at here, 27. If I brought it down to 37, or 38, that would be like a 10 dB reduction. It's obviously not what we want to do. But the other thing is that we can click hold the alter option modifier, and then this snaps us to 3 dB increments. I love the 3 dB snapping because that's usually my starting point when I bring something down, two and a half to 3 dB. So let's use some of these methods now. Maybe just to share my feelings. Maybe okay, for the breath here, click hold and drag a little bit. We'll scoot over. I'm gonna bring this down, this one. Alter option modifier to snap in 3 dB increments. This though, this whole entire phrase, the vocals, they're much louder than the previous phrases. Let's go from here. Maybe just to share my feelings. Maybe it's part of me healing. Okay, so what I might do in this case is actually select everything from here over to all the way to here. And then if I zoom in, I could now just click any one of these. So for example, we'll click and hold this one, 2493, 25, 26. Let's go somewhere about here and let's see how this sounds level wise. Maybe just to share my feelings. Maybe it's part of me healing. Okay, I think maybe this note is popping out a little too much still. Feelings, maybe it's part of me healing. Also notice that we're listening to everything in context now. We're hearing the S's, we're hearing the levels. Let's listen back and let's hear it with our actual music that's playing back. A little drunk on my I have the guts to speak this out loud, loud. Maybe okay, this one, come down a little bit. Maybe just to share my feelings. And also notice in this area now, just to share. Remember how harsh that was. Let's click the bypass key. Maybe just to share my really, really edgy. In. Maybe just to share my feelings. This one could be a little lower, even if it's just a half a dB. We're just finessing this vocal performance. Maybe just to share my feelings. Maybe it's part of me healing. Or maybe I'm in need of a shoulder. This one over here, alter option. So two different ways in which we can work. We can work in the level mode, 
or we can work in the main tuning mode with the selector tool on a case-by-case -case basis by dragging that control point. One of the biggest changes in terms of how we see it though is visually. This way allows a little bit more separation in terms of being able to differentiate the actual pitches from the unpitched voicings in these aqua areas. And it can be a little bit easier to work with, especially if things are quite condensed. Maybe just to share my feelings. Maybe it's part of me healing. Or maybe this breath over here, you could just go on until you're completely happy with your entire vocal performance. So not only do we have our tuning adjusted, not only do we have our timing adjusted, but we also have the ability to make sure that nothing is too harsh. We can have a nice bright sounding vocal that's not taking anybody's head off or doesn't sound like an ice pick in the ear for very specific moments. That's it for this video. I'll catch you for more in the next. Cheers. Mm -hmm.